Hello, uh, this is the GIS done well. And today I will give a short demo to show how to create a web service and create a customized search tools for GIS website. Okay, first let uh, first let me show show you uh what uh, a customized search tools look like in a GIS website. Okay, uh, this is a web service. Uh, let me okay. Let me run. Let me run my GIS web application. Okay. And okay, this is a GIS web application okay let me see okay it's ready okay here I have cut my search tools for example I have address finder street finder facility finder garbage collection schedule uh, school finder wet world uh, I want to show this address finder here when we type and then we get a pop-up menu we can select uh, address and then we just uh, click the find address and uh, we find uh, uh, this address it's uh, Geographic location, and now I will show you how these customized tools uh, uh, are created. You can see here I have a text box. When I type in, it will automatically pop up a drop-down menu or list of addresses. And actually, this is uh, the information is come from a web service. Okay, let me show you the web service. For example, I have the web service is called Author Complete uh, DLL Web Service. So in this web service, actually, I get the data from an uh, ArcSD Oracle database we select the location actually is the address location and uh, based on the prefix text here and when we have this uh, web service uh, created uh, we can go to the default ASPX and uh, we can let me find uh, where is the address finder go to school land uh, okay update and school facility okay I can I think some some around here yeah okay here we use the uh, Ajax toolkit or the complete extend and to link that web service to this uh, text box you know we set the we, we set that uh, a web service and web service uh, link to the uh, text uh, target control ID to text address uh, text box. So when we run this application, web application, we don't need to type the whole address. Sometimes people 
if they are not familiar with their address in in the city, they don't know what is the address looks like. So you you only need to type, for example, you you know, uh, someone's uh, house number, but uh, you don't know exactly the uh, address should be look like. You just type his house number, for example, house number sixty two. And but six two, you get a lot of uh, list start from uh, uh, six two. But you know his street name, and you type a uh, terrace. Okay, terrace. You can uh, terrace Boulevard, terrace court, terrace street. Oh, you know his address should be terrace way, and you just select it, and then you go to find address. So it's the easiest way for people to use. Uh, you don't need to know exactly what the address should be and the type of the full address, and you can quickly get the address. Okay, and uh, that's the one way we create a customer search tools. But uh, here we have uh, other search tools. And uh, all of them uh, ha uh, use the same skill as we just uh, uh, demoed here. And when you f when you can create one customer search tool, you can create uh, another. It's easy for you to create another search tools, and you just change your data source and and find get. You see, for example, the Street Finder. You only need to type the street name. For example, we don't know exactly what the street should like, but we type one. Oh, you see, have one avenue, one street, and for example, we type uh, uh alphabetic. We type T. Oh, we have ten avenue, etc. And we just go to find. Baba? It's easy, right? Okay. And that's all for today, and thank you, see you next time.